So it's six o'clock in the morning and we're going on a trip. We're gonna be going to North Georgia to see Rock City on Lookout Mountain. So we're all here together and it's early. And uh, the purpose of taking some time off was to rest. But um, I don't feel rest getting up early in the morning, but it's gonna be fun. And I guess we'll take you all along with us because uh, Rock City is a place I went many, many years ago. And I always thought to myself, boy, if I ever have a family, I'd like to bring them here. Well, now we're a family. So now we can go see this amazing place beautiful it's a nice place to walk around so I'll probably do the sermon of the week there as well and well we'll see how this goes so I hope you enjoy coming along with us and uh, we'll I hope we have a good time I'm too tired to think so we'll turn it up where are we downtown Birmingham. Birmingham historic district driving around looking at old buildings this is always fun Looking for antique stores, actually, but so far I'm not seeing anything. But these old buildings are so amazing. City Federal Building. Wow, that's an old building. And I'm hoping we'll see some antique malls around here somewhere. So far, nothing. A lot of for rent or for sale buildings, though. But I love old buildings like that. Wow. It's a lot of stories. See the character the building like this has on the left with all those overhangs and wow. I wish they made things pretty like that nowadays. So now we're all turned around and we're in the scary part of Birmingham. Dixie store fixtures, but we're getting a taste of what the old city was like. I love these brick buildings, they're so beautiful. Ooh, old church on the right. Look at the church on the right. Old church building. Yeah. This reminds me of Atlanta or New Orleans or even New York in some places. So this is Birmingham, Alabama. There's an old building. Lawyer's Title Insurance Corporation. Abstracts. Wow. It's, oh, here we go. Here's a good shot. That's a pretty old church building right there. Oh, nice down there too. wonder what kind it is. If you've never done something like this, always go downtown to big cities and see how pretty the buildings look. Cathedral of St. Paul. Hmm, interesting. Church building. That's all, um, is it shale? What am I saying? What's that stuff that's rock? It's like a rock. Oh, you can see it there to the left better. Oh, I can see it. That's all slate. That's what it's called. That's all slate. That's the Presbyterian Church. Wow. Isn't that interesting? That is a park. All that beautiful architecture that you can only see in downtown areas. Found in 1872. Interesting. This is a back alley somewhere in Birmingham. And yeah, we're a little turned around right now. Behind us in this back alley, there's somebody just sitting there. I don't know, you can't see it? No. How about if I do turn around? Because I want you to see this. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Those trees, everything about this is beautiful. But if I were to continue on this alley, there's just somebody sitting down there. Are they selling stuff? It's weird. Nothing like old cities. We thought we'd stop because it says antiques, but it's an auction house, so this isn't the right place. So back on the, oh, oh, oh do you see that? Two owls at the top of that. We know what that means, right? Moloch. Ba -ba -bum. That's probably an old Masonic building with the two pillars. That's creepy. Okay, off to find more adventure. Hannah Antiques. Now that looks interesting. We're going to have to go there. So we decided not to go there. They say mask preferred. Well, not for us. So. They lost our business, so we'll see if we can go to another one. Huh, what about the customer? Who cares about the customer anymore, I guess. But we found some interesting areas and we'll see where we go next. There's just so much going on here. There's an old smokestack for something. And then this building looks like it's about to be torn down. Pretty amazing looking old building. 
there's just so much going on in a in a city like this for a country boy like me this is just too much to see we're looking for a, a little store that's supposed to be an antique store and I don't know if I can find it it's got an interesting name and the name is quite revealing it's called oh I found it found that's where we're gonna go and it looks closed yeah it's closed so we found <laughs> A place that we're not going to. I think we're leaving Birmingham. I'm done with this place, so we gone. We're gonna get out of here. We'll record in the other little towns, I guess, so here we go. That's Birmingham. Bye-bye, Birmingham. We came, we saw, we left. Hopefully we'll find some antique stores in other places. As we're driving down the road, if I see that little sign that says historical marker, I gotta get off. I gotta go find out what it's about. Here's what it's about. This marks the place where General Nathaniel Bedford Forrest with 322 men, that's a weird number, uh, captured Colonel A.D. Strait with 466 men, May 3rd, 1863. So this is the spot. And uh, it was kind of a neat historical thing because he took them captive out by trickery. And uh, of course, that was the South. And because of that, look at our heritage. They don't even keep it up, unfortunately. Look, I can't even read. Uh, they, they say the South was evil and wicked and all this stuff, and now they don't even want us to remember history. But back here, we got something. This is General Nathaniel or Nathan Bedford Forrest. He's the guy who started the Ku Klux Klan, so people say he's evil. He said disband the Ku Klux Klan, and he said he didn't want it to go on anymore. It was just before the war. Afterwards, people took that and turned it into the evil thing that it was. So I'm not in favor of the Ku Klux Klan. It's sad that they hijacked what he started. But this man was a hero of the South. And here on this very spot, this little knoll, he did a cool thing check this out he captured Colonel Abel Strait and his men and he had them over there and he comes over and he had his people hiding and they came out and talked to him and then they ran back and changed uniforms and came back and then they ran back and he had that general over there thinking oh you got more people over there than I thought and then he told him now you have to surrender and they did and then they found out oh he had less than they thought they did, and he surrendered. So that was pretty cool. But because Forrest started the KKK, people think he was racist. You know how they all scream racist. He started the Ku Klux Klan, and then he said disband the Ku Klux Klan because I don't want to have any part of it, and I don't want it to continue. And so it became a racist organization after him. But this man right here, Nathaniel Bedford Forrest, was the richest man in the South. He would have been the Elon Musk or the Bill Gates of his day. Millions of dollars. And he had something like 30 slaves. He gave everything he had for the Confederacy and fought for the South, lost everything. And the 30 slaves that he had, he treated them as family. And he loved them so much, he took care of them with what money he did have. Until the day he died, those slaves took care of him as family. And they said, we love him so much because he loved us that we took care of him. So these are things that history doesn't tell you. They just want you to think everybody in the South is a stinking racist. They were like family. They loved each other. They took care of each other in many of these uh, families, especially when they were Christian people. But yes, the Ku Klux Klan is awful, and it's a shame that it turned into what it turned into. But it's fun for me to see these places and to remember all this. And I wish they'd just tell history the way it was instead of trying to label everybody as evil because you can sure see the other side of history when you stop and look at things like this. So there it is. And there's the old flag, the old stars and bars. And there's the old battle flag. That's more than just the General Lee car with zero one on the side. <laughs> All right. Look at how they don't even care. Isn't that sad?
They just, they don't even care about you reading the rest of history. If it's out in the sun, they just let it go. I can't even read that. All right, now we continue on our journey. We're in Rome, Georgia. Rome. When in Rome, do as the Romans, I guess. I, I, anyway, Rome, Georgia is beautiful. And so we're gonna go downtown. Here's the sign, historic downtown. So we're gonna go see what's down there. And I've never been to Rome before. It's not as big as I thought it would be. But it's a pretty cool area, lots of neat buildings. So here we go. Lots of Mexican stuff, a lot of Hispanic people, and a lot of uh, Spanish everywhere, which is interesting. I thought I was in America. I didn't know I crossed the border when I came into Rome. Uh, but we'll see what we can find. Oh, pretty old building. What do you think that one is? It looks like some sort of a church building. Oh, nope. Masonic Temple. Bump, bump. Isn't that interesting? The Sharp Sickle Missionary Outpost. That's an interesting thing. All right, let's go across this bridge. I see a really pretty bridge. See what's across the bridge. Neat little town. Oh, I'm in the wrong lane. Let me get over. There's, there's a big hill there. What is that? Whoa. Something mausoleum. Is that the cemetery? That must be the graveyard. Yeah, it is. Let's go left instead of right. And there's the steps up there. Wow, the cemetery is like a little mountain. Wow. So this is Rome. What a neat place. So part of this trip was to take Conrad to see mountains. He's never seen mountains before. And he said, Daddy, can we walk to the top of a mountain? So we might have to go in here and walk up to the top. We'll see. What is this called? Myrtle Hill Cemetery. Established in 1857. Wow. That's pretty old. Well, check it out. Can we drive to the top or do we have to walk? Conrad? Those are the names of the people who died who were buried there. But what do they say the names of them? Oh, there's so many. I can't read them all. That one says Norton. Died in 1897. Hey, we didn't have to walk up. We drove up, Conrad. Yeah. Now we get to look at the view. There's a way to park up here. wonder who's buried at the very, very top. This is creepy. I feel like we'll fall off the side. <laughs> Here we go. What does this one say? That's a Confederate memorial up on the top of this hill. Wow, check out the view of Rome. Wow. You feel like you could just drive off the edge though. Do you see that? This is narrow. There's no gate or anything. Look over on the right side. <laughs> Straight down. <laughs> this is creepy. It's pretty cool though. Being from Florida, we don't see mountains or hills like this. So it's so neat to look far away. Conrad, what do you think? Does it look cool? Yeah. Okay, go to mommy. There's some sort of a river down there. It's pretty. There's the whole downtown area. Wow, what a view. What a beautiful place, Rome, Georgia. Got a lot of far off distance hills. There's the river down there. Wow. I guess since this is Rome, Georgia, they kind of 
tried to put things like this up here to make you think of Rome. Not sure. But uh, what an amazing place. Let's see what it says here. Oh, there's an app. Some sort of app you can get a hold of. Learn more. Things like that. The man, whoever man is. What an amazing little place. Then you've got this. Erected by the men of Rome to the memory of the soldiers of Floyd County, Georgia, who died in defense of the Confederate States of America. So, yeah, folks, it's fun to travel and see stuff like this and learn history. But wow, what a view. Beautiful. This is new to Conrad to see hills like this. Wave, Conrad! Hi! Daddy, can you do a video You want to be in the video? Yes. What do you want to do? I don't know, but I want to be in a video. Well, you're in this one, okay? Okay. Say bye. Bye. We got to get to our next town. On the side of this Confederate monument, it says, this monument is the testimony of the present to the future that these were they who kept the faith as it was given them by the fathers. Be it known by this token that these men were true to the traditions of their lineage, bold, generous, and free, firm in conviction of the right, ready at their country's call, steadfast in their duty, faithful even in despair, and illustrated in the unflinching heroism of their deaths. The freedom, courage of their lives. Wow. That's a symbol of the faith, it says. Christian faith that many of those men held too. Not all were saved, but many of them were. And yet, they want to tear these things down. An attack on this is an attack on Christianity in many ways. But now, we get to go down. So, this is gonna be a little scary because it was pretty steep coming up. Here we go down the hill. Watch. Oh, this is worse than Olive Garden in Pensacola. <laughs> wow. Should I go straight, Laura? <laughs> Do the right. Mommy, can you zip up for my jacket? In a second, buddy. So I guess before you could drive it on those places, but now you can't. It's just too narrow. Well, that was an interesting little uh, adventure. So we found an antique store off of 75. We had to get back on 75. It's called Grumpy's. So here's Grumpy's. Let's, let's see what this is like. What an awesome building, huh? Well, here we go. So, sometimes you get in an antique store and you get lost because they're so big. So, we're like, took a turn here and then there and then here and we're back here someplace in the back. You never know what you'll see. Lots of cool stuff. But boy, it's easy to get turned around in a place like this. Here's an old copper pot. I guess it's for sale, but it's also catching water. <laughs> Look up. So when it rains, <laughs> that's funny. Copper is beautiful. Ooh, I had one of these as a kid. A little folding fishing pole. What they got on that? 20 something bucks. Wow. It reminds you of childhood a lot when you see things like that. So lots to look at. Sometimes you find some cool Army Navy stuff here. This looks like this would have been a World War II uniform 
Wow. Name in it? King. Something King. Find some old cool stuff. We got Civil War stuff up here. Come look in the case. Got some Civil War stuff. Come on down. There's some World War II stuff. Here's a bunch of nice bayonets and things like that. You never know what you're gonna find. There's a stuffed pheasant. Right there. More antiques. Let's go up here and look. We saw the whole bottom floor, then we went to the second floor. This is the third floor. Look at the size of this place. Look at that, can you see? Oh my goodness, we'll be here all day just looking at antiques. This is amazing. Wow, mom, she says, come here, so I'll see what Laura wants. Wow. So my personal rule in antique stores is always keep to the right. So we'll go right first and look. I thought it was long that way. It goes a long ways this way. I always look at the books. I've gotten so many good books over the years at places like this. This is all different hymnals. Got a lot of good hymnals too over the years in places like this. So it's always good to look. It's like a museum going to a place like this. This right here, my uncle was in Vietnam. This was an ice chest that they put food in, they store food. So this was literally made for storing food, an ice chest. This is 1953. Well, that, yeah, that would have been used in Vietnam, so. If you were a soldier, you know what this is. A lot of people know it was an ice chest, but my uncle told me, because I got one of these at a garage sale one time, this is what they called the crapper. They literally turn these things into toilets and they use them for toilets instead of <laughs> instead of ice chests. So the things you learn from people who are in the military, it's funny. But man, it makes a good toilet when you're done using it as an ice chest. Pretty neat. But well, look in here. Wow, check this out. Oh, military history. Wow. Amazing. There's some Civil War bullets. Now, the bullets were made of lead, and when lead gets old, it turns white. Those are old white Civil War bullets. Wow, is that Russian uniform down there? And here we are. We're not in Tennessee yet. We're almost to Tennessee, so part of Civil War. And uh, there's a lot of Civil War relics they sell in places like this. Wow. Got to look at the books too. If you know how these places work, uh, the people that are selling this stuff, they rent a little area for so much a month. Some of them go wild and decorate it, make it look beautiful. And then, so they pay rent to sell in a place like this. And then usually they take 10%, the people that own this store. This is an amazing front. Look at this. Uh, like from right here look at that they made it look like a store that is awesome wow got an old red rider bb gun we've got a mazin the gaunt bayonet we've got boy scouts military encyclopedia man i'm like a child in a kid's uh toy store or something this wow this is this is like going to a museum with the kids this is amazing look at this here's a receipt from 1921 I mean this is like going to a museum I love it this is so cool wow so cool indeed Elise are you seeing anything cool that you like yeah, I suppose. a lot of times people will collect old soda don't ever drink it that's probably 30 40 years old it's no good anymore but they collect that kind of stuff, not me. Wow, here's one, look at this one. That's amazing. What's inside? It's like a store in a store. What? Cool.
I am enjoying this. This is a lot of fun. A lot of Civil War books here too. You need to study the history of the Civil War. Very important that you get the true history. All right, let's go look at some more. Here we have a whole lot of old die-cast metal. And if you know what you're doing, you can make money on this. There are certain ones that are worth a lot more. And uh, I can't remember what I was taught, but you see that ring on the back? If it's got a ring like that, supposedly it's an older one. I think you want one with like three spaces or something. I forget. I don't get into this, but there are people I met that deal in it, and they tell me all the little things you need to know. So if you see one at a garage sale, you know you got a good one. This one's 50 bucks. Look at that. Is it a Wagner? It is. Wagner out of Sydney. So this is a Wagner. $50 right there. Some of them are better than others. So. It's fun. Man, this is so cool. Look at that. Grumpy Shine Shack. There's just so much to see. This is what they made in the old days to carry your, your water in or your moonshine or whatever. But they just made things so nice in the old days and they still exist to this day. Wow. Look at this thing. Wouldn't you want to cook in that? Put your fire in there cook on top of that that's pretty cool so much look at that a water buffalo what? probably the thing I like most about antique stores like this is you never know what you're gonna see when you turn the corner I never thought I would have seen a water buffalo stuff today so this is just too cool look at the old um, bottles and how they sealed if you're not familiar with these older bottles you pull this up here and then that lets that come off then when you put it and you pull that down that seals it and it holds it down so so many things that our ancestors knew that we're losing nowadays so i want my kids to learn these things and learn about the old way of doing stuff as well lots to see and there's no ac up here in this top level man i'm sweating it's starting to get hot let's go see some more it is hot in here it's like 95 degrees outside and they don't have any air conditioning up here i think that's the only fan they have working and then they have the back door wide open so all that heat comes in so that's that's not fun that it's so hot but there's so many things to see i mean look at this bobcat hey little guy how are you that's pretty cool i don't know what this is you could just spend all day here it says vintage Pizzelli iron. Anybody know what a Pizzelli iron is? It says it's from Norway, but look what's inside of it. I think it's for some sort of food, maybe making a sandwich or something, and it puts a beautiful decoration on your sandwich. Have anybody ever seen one of these? I mean, wow, this place is amazing. Treasure chest right here. Well, actually that's a closed chest, but it's still, pretty cool got a turkey up there let's keep going look at all this wow that's got hair in it that's gross i don't know what that's for look at that a baboon skull <laughs> you never know what you're gonna see look at this that's a striped bass I caught one of those one time. That was fun. Wow, this this is just too fun. Deer. Here we got a boar. I don't know. Some people might think this is weird and creepy, but I'm enjoying seeing old stuff. And this is like going to a museum, free admission. Um, we're at Grumpy's, and we're close to Ringgold, Georgia. So if you're ever off of 75, come into Grumpy's and look around because this place is cool. Cool. Care Bear. I mean, who would have thought? Care Bear! <laughs> oh, this is fun. Well, we decided to do what the barn said. If you drive through the south, you see old barns and they paint on the top of the barn, Sea Rock City. So we decided we'd come here today and Sea Rock City. So there's the sign. 
and we're gonna go see Rock City and we're gonna take you all with us because this is a cool cool place I was here many 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 years ago before I was married and I thought to myself if I ever get married I want to bring my wife and kids to this place so we're going to Rock City and we're gonna see some cool stuff so let's go We're here and we're just about to go in. This is why I love this place. This is amazing. Check this out. Man. Oh, it's awesome. Look at that. Is that cool or what? We're over here. Awesome. Come with me. This is cool. He's yelling, this is epic, Daddy. This is epic. You've got to be pretty skinny to go through here. This is so epic, isn't it? This is so cool. Could you imagine? Look back at Mommy and at Elise. This goes downhill. This is so amazing. Keep going, Conrad. Oh, wow. Except for the fact that it's all wet and sticky. It's cool. Conrad, tell me what this is. This is what? Rock City. And it is? Epic. Epic. Oh, look at those roots on that tree. This is pretty epic. Oh, the sun's in the way. Got that beautiful archway. Man, this is fun. It feels like we're in another planet almost, doesn't it, Conrad? Yeah, but I saw the Bigfoot. You just saw Bigfoot? I don't know about that. Oh, look at the just, wow. And right up there is a beautiful arch. How cool is that? Wow. Look, they made a little bench over here. Please stay on trail. Nice little place to sit down. Oh, cool story. What is that? Two missionaries came here to witness the Indians. Cool. Just so much to see and the stair pathway is amazing oh here we go this is what I remember you have to be quite skinny to get through this oh it's creepy girls are you scared look at this you've got to be really skinny to get through this this is called Fat Man Squeeze, I think, if I remember right. Oh, how cool. Okay. Here we are in Rock City, so okay. He says we are in Rock City, so okay. Look at the water. Look at Water fountain over there. And here are the gnomes, the Rock City gnomes. Can you see the gnomes out there? Yeah. If I remember right, there's some sort of cave with gnomes or something like that we get to go through. What a beautiful place. Wish you were here. This is amazing. What an awesome place. And we haven't even seen probably an eighth of the place yet. There's so much to see. Sea Rock City. Conrad wanted to see a cave. And sure enough, we're going to see one here. Goblins Underpass. Whoa. 
This is such a cool place. I love this place. We're coming back again next year. No, I'm just kidding. This is awesome. Creepy. What a beautiful place. What is that, Conrad? A cave. Another cave. Where does this go? Oh, 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 oh. You guys need to come down here. There's a cave within a cave. What? Yeah, up there, it's open. is something I remember when I went way back in the 90s. Fairyland Caverns. Hey, slow down, buddy. Oh, look at that old style. I think he likes going into caves. And there's lots of shiny gems all over here, aren't there? Oh, I just saw two gnomes. This is a big gem, Daddy. Look at it all shining. Well, the camera doesn't show it shining, but it's glistening all over. Those are pretty gl Should gems. I? Yeah, it shows a little bit one. of shine as you get closer. Let's get in here. They put them up. Whoa, I see a treasure in there. Look at this, man, the camera doesn't do it justice. You can't see the whole thing. Okay, so who wants to go down the scary hole first? There's your treasure, mate. Treasure. Wow. I hope a That's a really cool. Makes me think of Scooby Doo when I was a kid. Daddy, I What's like over here? So this is epic. It's closed off. Oh, there's your little troll up top. Swinging on a swing. We got a troll right over there. I said troll, but I mean gnome. But isn't it the same thing? No. <laughs> Trolls are only on the internet and YouTube, right? Trolls have spiky hair. Oh, okay. Trolls have spiky hair. Who knew? Learning something on this trip every day. Wow, this just keeps going. This is so amazing. How far does this go, man? Wow, it just keeps going. Dad, what is it? Stalactites! Oh, you wanted to see some stalactites. Do you see some? Yeah, where are we at? So the ones on the top are stalactites, and the ones on the bottom are stalagmites. Because they're tight on the top. You just think of a mite on the ground, stalagmite. So you finally got to see some stalactites and stalagmites. Is that cool? Uh, I see a man and a woman up here. What is this? Okay. Let's go see what this is. Oh, what's well, first of all, on the right, there's t old man and old woman in a sleep. And oh, this is supposed to be all fairies. Oh, that's kind of creepy. What are you guys seeing here? There's a nice fireplace. Someone's reading their son a book, huh? Look at him reading the book. In that fireplace, wow. Mommy. Oh, the dog, you see the doggy? No, the video's not over. So 
I'm making a video and now Conrad's making his own video. I'm loving this. This is so cool. It's nice and cool down here. Oh boy, guys, you gotta see this. This is called Fairyland Caverns. Here's the history. I feel like pausing and reading. There's all Pied Piper. Far enough to show the scope of this. Mommy, the video's not over. There's still one big spot. Mommy, why do we get out here? The video's still not over. I want to film this whole thing. It just keeps going. Yeah, if you've never been to Rock City, you've got to come and check this out. So it's all about the fairy tales. This would be Hansel and Gretel, most likely. And there's the witch. And that's a gingerbread house. Okay, so now we're going through it again. I don't know what that's supposed to represent, but... Oh, Rip Van Winkle, it says on top. You can barely read it, Rip Van Winkle. So all the different fairy tales. It's Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood. I see a werewolf in this video. Where's the wolf? Oh, there he is. I see a werewolf. There's the wolf in sheep's clothing. It's so dark. What? Oh, this I remember from years ago. They've really changed this. Okay, Mommy. It's Jack Sprat. Could he know fat? His wife could eat no lean. And so betwixt them both, they lick the platter clean, huh? Oh. This is amazing. Humpty Dumpty. Mary Mary Quite Contrary. This is cool. When books come to life. Jack and Jill. We Willie Winky. Little Boy Blue. Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater. Had a wife who couldn't keep her. He put her in a pumpkin shell and there he kept her very well. Three behind mice. Well there it is folks. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. I went the wrong direction, but that's okay. There you go, there's your wicked move. Uh, that's cool. That's right, the butcher maker and a candlestick maker. And finally, sunlight. Blessed sunlight. Oh, and more water. There's waterfalls everywhere. Oh my, look at that, how far you can see. Can you read that? Lover's Leap. Oh, you just can't quite see the waterfall there. But what a view. Here's the waterfall. Don't scare people. There's the beautiful falls. And what a view. You can see seven different states from up here. 
That is insane. And here's all the flags of each state. And we're at the top of Rock City, and the view here is, they say, you can see seven different states at once. So look at that, going all the way around. And we'll come over, let's see. It's up there, it tells you which states, but actually they have a map here on the ground. So if you're looking here on the, on the ground, here are the states that you can see. We're about right here. So from here, we're looking that way. So stand about right here. Back up. If you look to your right, there's Alabama. Then there's Georgia. Then there's South Carolina. That's all out there. There's North Carolina out there. Virginia that way. And then Tennessee and Kentucky that way. So you're literally seeing seven different states at one time. That's pretty amazing. Now let's run up there and look at that and uh, see what it says. Do you see seven states? And here are the seven states. And that's all out there like we saw on the map. So this is pretty amazing. Oh look, I don't know if you can read that. It says Eagle's Nest. So this is the Eagle's Nest area. And oh man, is it straight down. Let me see if I can show. It's kind of scary how far down that keeps going and going and going. But what a beautiful view. Don't you wish you lived in those houses over there? Well, let's see what it says. Rock City was their dream. These are the people that helped do a lot of the work out here and everything. But what a beautiful, beautiful place this is. So it helps when you have a map. So we went through like half of the thing and left and we realized we didn't see the whole thing. And I saw someone with a map and I'm like, where'd you get that? And they told me, so I got the map and we actually went back through a second time and now we're getting to see everything. And I was wrong. That doesn't happen often, but I, I was wrong. Fat Man Squeeze, we haven't been to yet. So the one we went through that was so thin was Needle's Eye. Fat Man Squeeze is still coming up. So we're up here, and I can't wait to go through Fat Man Squeeze because it's gonna be even narrower than the one we went through earlier. So we're gonna head over there next, and you're gonna see some cool stuff. So let's go. So we're halfway through, we're still going. And this is what it looks like as you drive through the south. They used to paint on top of barns, Sea Rock City. And you still can see those today, but they're not that many. So this way to Fat Man Squeeze. And we're <laughs> Such beautiful architecture, nice arches. What a beautiful place. Interesting doorways. There's so much to see, so many places to go. Ooh, there's Fat Man Squeeze. You think we can do this? I hope I haven't been eating too much. I did have a hamburger yesterday. Maybe I should have said no. So this is called Fat Man Squeeze. And uh, I think we can do it, but it's gonna be hard. I think in, in the 90s when I came, in the 90s when I came, there was a guy that got stuck and had to go back. Uh -huh, I hope I can make this. Conrad's gonna have to walk, mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> this looks scary, doesn't it, Laura? This is going to be fun. Oh, this is. If you're claustrophobic, this is not, not for you. Oh, I've had dreams about this, Laura, that I was too fat to get through, but I'm not. I can make it. Uh, this is the measure of my diet. Can I fit, make it through Fat Man Squeeze? Stop back there, guys. Let me get you. Oh. Your hips barely made it. That is so cool. So that one is Fat Man Squeeze. So now we're heading back into the cave we were in earlier. We just took a wrong turn and went the short way instead of the long way. But this is pretty, all these caves. This would be, I guess, the gnome cave. 
Somebody is throwing a lot of money in here, though. I don't know why they do that. I think they come and clean it out from time to time. This is a really cool place. Look that shows up. It just shows up as light, but it's a really pretty... There we go. Wow, cool. We got an old iPhone 6 or something, so not the best camera. light up there. But up here, what is that? That's pretty cool. Honey, this is so cool. Are you glad we came? Mm -hmm. It's way different than when I was here in the 90s. It looks so much nicer. Sure. Oh, wow. Look back there first. That overhang. That rock overhang is amazing. All right, let's get a picture of you and me. Look where we're going in a second. That's the big overhang cliff. That's pretty cool. Nice door, and here we go again, another cave. You've seen a lot of caves today, haven't you, Conrad? Yeah. This is fun. Wow. Here's a good picture of the waterfall. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And that's Lover's Leap up there. All right. Well, there's so Mom, much to see. May I please have a quarter? Oh, there's, there's a gnome way out there. But I want to know. What is that fruit? Leave in the comments if you know what that is. Is that a chestnut or something? There's some dead ones over here. What do you see now? Huh, I don't know. But that view is awesome. Are you going first, Conrad? Yeah. Rainbow Hall, because of all the rainbow colored glass and it reflects on the ground. Okay, hold my hand again. This is a scary one. Lover's Leap. Anybody want to read about Lover's Leap? Hit pause. Not a lot of people like a picture there. No thanks. I just want to see this beautiful waterfall. Damn. How pretty is that? What do you think? Beautiful. Right. Here, take a picture of me and come in. Undercliff Passage. That looks cool. Alright, we'll take a picture of you guys together. This place must have taken forever to build. Whoa. There are so many caves here, it's amazing. I like this place. When you get in the cave, you get shade and you feel really good. When you get in the sun, it's hot. Look at that. Rope bridge. Ha ha, this is cool. This is a balanced rock above us. Thousand tons. Wow. Balanced on that rock and that rock. Wow. There's a big rock right there. This is so amazing, Elise. There's some water down there. K2. 
cave of the winds. So the wind must blow through that. Look at how narrow that is, Elise. Cave of the winds, it says. Oh, you found a place to sit. And Conrad found a place to play. It's like 96 degrees in the sun, but underneath in the shade, it feels like 70. So cool. So nice and cool. That's the bridge that we elected not to go on. Uh, so, yeah. Holding up the world. You never read Atlas Shrugged? You need to. Atlas Shrugged. Good book. A lot of water. Oh my goodness, look at that. They're using this kind of black lights. And boy, the whole stairs looks amazing. Beautiful, beautiful. This place is top notch. I like this place. And this is where people most hit their heads, probably. Probably find a lot of DNA on there, people hitting their head. So, did we go through this already? Yep, so we came in the back way. So we did this whole thing backwards, so oh, that almost looks like a face right there. But that was on purpose. So this, this is this, I love it. It's so cool. And then the staff maxes the shot at the I think. No, that's okay. That's okay. This is so much fun. Fat man squeeze. I had to squeeze to get through. Conrad made it with no problem. No, no spitting. Let's see on those people. Keep going. Who's home? Anybody home? Me. Who's me? Who's there? I see you. <laughs> That's a cool door, isn't it? Yeah. That's pretty neat. Who's there? Laura, tell them what we're doing. We're looking for the Holy Grail, right? Or is it the Lost Ark? Okay, run. Do, 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 do. 
They could go in. Let's go on that stairs. I can't see you, Conrad. I'm right here. Yeah, but I can't see your face. Well, so okay. That, so that's part of this video. That's, that's the problem of the video, but it, we're still doing it. So okay. Mommy, the video's not over. There's still one week. But mommy, once we get out here, the video's still not over. So okay. Three, two, one, video's over. That was a long video. Okay. Say bye. Bye. And bye bye. The video's over.